Tell me about your feelings going into this trip. Okay, do you think it's happy? Do you know that I left? I'm done. I wish Shannon wouldn't have left. He's <laughs> evil. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I just felt really sad that she felt like she had to get a ticket and fly home alone. And I could just picture her like being in the airport alone and like having her own luggage and getting on this flight and flying home alone. And it just made me really sad that she felt that she had to do that. She told me that you were trying to dig up information prior to the reunion about Travis. About Travis? Well, but yes, she doesn't know before the reunion. About. I just feel like everybody oh has like toddlers. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. No, I'm out. I don't give a I'll take an Uber. I'm out. Oh my God. I'm done. This is all. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Like, Shannon had shown me that picture of her all bloody. In fact, I think I have it on my phone because she sent it to me. And she she showed it to Heather on camera. Is you going to show me the picture? Yeah, I want to show you. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> and I had already told Heather I had seen that picture. But she told me that? She's told you well, that? Well, that's what's f***ed up about it. So, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous when someone's saying, you're sharing information about me. You came to my room in Sonoma and yeah. you showed me a very disturbing picture of you. What? The fact that you're bringing this up right now. When you just shared it yourself on camera for the world to see. Shannon um, is a very calculated person. She doesn't show it on camera, but she's very calculated and very smart. And she tries to dig up dirt on people before every reunion or even before filming. Jen was so pissed at Tamara for looking up Ryan two years ago. But Shannon's the one that gave her the information. But why did she give her that information now when it happened two years ago? And then that caused Tamara to want to retaliate and show that it wasn't just her, that Shannon had been digging things up also, and she dug up things on Travis. We need to find out if Gina pushed Travis down the stairs. What? Yes. It was last year, it was on Labor Day, she went out on John's boat with Taylor Armstrong and Taylor's husband, who is an attorney. And she knew that her and Gina were gonna be battling at the reunion. My Shannon, job is to be Shannon out. Storms Bedore. Okay, so well you're doing a great job of it. You're right. on a reality you're show. You're adoring so it up. So she asked Taylor's husband to look up information to find out about Gina pushing Travis down the stairs. And she said that's why she stopped drinking is because she pushed Travis down the stairs and he gave her an ultimatum. There was a text message this long about it. Oh my God, Tamara, you were so involved in that. I was not there, I had nothing to do with it, but Shannon had called me the night before the reunion and told me what she was doing. Day four of my trip, Tamara Judge is calling me a liar again. I'm going home now. I spoke to Taylor on the phone last night. She confirmed it all. Okay, you know what, stop. And she said, Taylor called her and said, John doesn't want to get involved in this. It devolved into this finger pointing and mean and, and, uh, and all these things. And I think that when Shannon was faced with the fact that she does this stuff too, she just took off. How do I feel about having my very first all cast trip in 10 years? Really good. I was so excited to go to London with everyone. Hey, I'm Shannon Storms of Adore, the Duchess of Corona Del Mar, and these are my ladies in waiting. The trip to London was, it was great, and it was funny, and it was dramatic. There was so much stuff happened. I think I ate a bowl of french fries that, like the size of my head. We went on a speedboat. Heather thought she was gonna die. Um, of course there was fun times. Oh, I had a ton of fun in London. I loved London. Oh my God, first of all, I mean, I don't know how they will cut around my obnoxious uh, British accent. I love Princess Kate, and I love Harry Potter and Hermione, and I love... <sighs> You're welcome for that, because <laughs> it is full force. Me and Heather had the best time. We had so much fun. I mean, we shared a, a suite together, and my God, we had probably one of the best times together filming. Gina, Jen, Shannon, and I take a separate bus to something, and Shannon's taking forever, forever. She finally comes down, and she is extremely constipated. It comes in waves. Oh, and they hurt it's so, so bad. bad. Uh, can you fart? No. I... So I help her get an enema, and I almost help her administer it. I think I got it all up. Okay. Uh. 
we're not close that day. We really did, as insane as it was, we had a good time. It's an amazing city, and I love Indian food, so that was like just a treat for me. And Stella's going to school in Paris, and Adelaide just happens to be visiting Stella the same time that I'm going to be in London. I mean, all the clouds were, the stars were in alignment. <laughs> ah! oh! oh my God. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Mom. The clouds, the stars. It was really fun to, to meet up with them for the afternoon. We're all single ladies. Yeah. Are you going to find a man here? No. <laughs> and they got to say hello to all the ladies, minus one. And um, so it was fun for them.